Hey, Tony here. So today I'm going to take part of Tim's challenge from over at Tim Talks Talkies. This time he's challenging the community to go over our top um, 70s films. And so I'm going to have all that information listed down below. Or you can actually leave your top 25 in the comment section of this video. And I'll make sure that Tim sees it. So since I was born in 1969, I did grow up in the 70s. Um, so in my childhood, I grew up in the 70s. So a lot of these films are films that I watched when I was a child. And so that will be reflected in this collection. So my top number 25 would be Robin Hood. I always enjoyed this film. I love the classic Disney animation. And so that's the reason why I'm choosing Robin Hood as my number 25. Number 24, I do remember seeing this one in the theater when it came out. And that's the Muppet movie. I really enjoyed the Muppet movie. Um, great music, great sound. To see the Muppets on the big screen was a big deal for us. And so that's the reason why this is my number 24. Another great animated film from my childhood is The Rescuers. This is probably one of my favorites. So this is why I'm selecting this as number 23. Really enjoyed this one. I do remember seeing this one in the theater also. So that's my number 23. Number 22 is another Disney animated film mixed with live action. And that is for Peach Dragon. Blood Peach Dragon, it is one of those... Um, musical type um, Disney films and I have great memories of seeing this one in the theater also and so that is the reason why this one is listed at number 22 okay at number 21 um, getting away from the kids movies number 21 this is not one that I saw back when it was released in the 70s but later on and that is play Misty for me I really enjoyed this Clint Eastwood thriller um, it's got some great, a great cast of characters, um, a really good suspenseful film, um, a stalking type film, and so I really enjoyed this one. Now, one that I saw on cable growing up quite a few times is Heaven Can Wait. I used to have the DVD of this because I never thought that it would get a Blu-ray release, but it did just a couple of years ago, so I was very excited about that, but I really enjoyed the story of Heaven Can Wait. Um, like I said, I watched this on cable all the time growing up, and so um, that's the reason why I selected this one. Okay, next up is um, Jack Nicholson and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I really enjoyed this performance of Jack Nicholson. Great, um, great story, um, great characters, um, so definitely would that would have to be in my top 25. Okay, next up we have Apocalypse Now. This is a great war film. I really enjoyed this one. It's dark, it's gritty. It's got a really good story, um, really good performances, so I highly recommend you check this one out. Next up is The Deer Hunter. Now this right here is a very long film, um, but some really great performances. So I really enjoyed this film. Another one that I grew up watching all the time was Grease. Now I did not get to see this one in the theater. I think the first time I saw this was in on VHS, and um, I've always enjoyed it. It's got some really catchy tunes, um, some great performances. Olivia Newton-John, of course, John Travolta. Really enjoyed this musical. And so that's one that's in my top 25. Okay, another one from my childhood that I did get to see in the theater, and that is The Bad News Bears. Um, really was happy when this right here was released um, from Imprint. I snatched it up as soon as I was able to and was very happy to revisit this one. It had been a long time since I had seen it and I just really enjoy all of the Bad News Bears um, um, films and this is one that I have some great memories of watching with my family. Okay, next up we have Taxi Driver. So Taxi Driver is another great film. Um, as you may see, a lot of these are still sealed up. It's because I have other copies of these. Um, that I watch and then I like to keep the nicer copies sealed up. Um, but Taxi Driver is a great Robert De Niro film. I've only seen this one once and it was just a few years ago that I saw it for the first time. But definitely a great film. I really enjoyed this one. Great story. And so that's the reason why that's in my top 25. Okay, the next one I have in my collection is one that I've been watching since I believe the VHS days and that is Kramer vs. Kramer. I really enjoyed this story um, with Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep. This is a little bit of a different type of story where um, you have a divorce um, going on 
and usually with the divorce it's always the dad that is the um, one who has kind of stepped away from the um, relationship um, but this right here is a little bit different of a tale and if you've never seen Kramer vs. Kramer, check it out. It's a great, great performances and a great story. Okay, one of my other favorites that I remember seeing from my childhood is Carrie. So I really enjoy um, Cece Spacek. I think she's a great actress. And Carrie is one of the first films I saw her in. And I really um, enjoy this movie. It's a really dark tale. Um, and it's very, I don't know, to me, I think it's got some really cheesy moments in it. Um, but overall, just a great, um, it's a great horror story. Not that it's very um, um, scary, but um, just the feel of the movie um, is great, and I really enjoyed that one. Okay, another film that I saw on cable when it first came out is Alien. So I do remember watching Alien back when it came out. Um, I didn't get to see this one in the theater, but I did see it on cable when it came out. And I remember me and my brothers watching this for the first time and just really enjoying this one. It had some really scary moments to it. Um, I'm sure everybody's seen Alien, so I don't have to say much. But the, the scene where the alien creature came out of the gut of the guy, I can't remember his name, was terrifying. And so this is definitely in my top 25. Next up is another horror story that I didn't get to see this one until I was a teenager. Um, and that is The Exorcist. I really love The Exorcist. I think it has some of the best performances. Linda Blair was amazing in this. Um, great story. I haven't... I've seen some of The Exorcist films after this one, but this right here is the top for me. There really isn't any comparison to any of the others. Okay, another horror film that I watched as a kid, this right here was something that I watched as a teenager. Um, and that is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So really enjoyed this story. I enjoyed the grittiness of it. Um, the characters are somewhat annoying at times, but it makes, to me, it's what makes the film. Um, you wanna see characters that are kind of outrageous and different, and um, I don't know, I just love this film. It's another great one. Okay, next up is one that I'm gonna do two films in one. Um, that's because they kind of both go together for me. Um, so that would be The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two. Um, I enjoy these films. The Godfather films are not, there, there's some, um, the Godfather films for me are a, maybe once in a, every five year watch. Um, I don't watch them every single year, but I do, when I do watch them, I watch all of them together. So one and two are my favorites. Of course, I do have Part Three which was not a 1970s film, um, but one and two are great. I really enjoyed these. Um, so the Godfather films had to be in my top 25. Another horror movie from my childhood that I just loved, and that's the reason why it's a little bit higher on my list, and that is for the Amityville Horror. I'm big fan of this movie. I do remember seeing this one as a kid. Um, I remember reading the book and doing my book report on it in elementary school. Um, just really enjoy this story. I enjoy the performances and I think what made me enjoy this the most is probably that I read the book before I saw the movie so I kind of knew what I was looking for um, but I just really enjoyed this movie. Okay another film that I watched as a kid that I really enjoyed and this is another one that I watched with my family and that is Smokey and the Bandit. I, I love the Smokey and the Bandit films. Of course the original is the best for me. I enjoy um, the songs, the music, um, the car chases, everything about it. It's just um, something that I really enjoy watching. And so that's why it's a little bit higher up on my list. Okay, next up is another two-parter where I have two films. Um, and that is for the Rocky films. Rocky and Rocky II are the films um, that I love. To me, I remember seeing Rocky as a kid and then seeing Rocky 2 right after it, I guess these. I think Rocky was re-released in the theater uh, when Rocky 2 was coming out. So I do remember seeing the double feature, and they kind of just kind of go together for me. But I love the Rocky films, uh, some of the best, and that's the reason why it's in my top 25. Okay, my next one is another horror film, and that is of course John Carpenter's Halloween. I do remember seeing this one as a kid, also. 
Um, I did not see this one in the theater. I didn't get to see this one until I was a teenager, but I love Halloween. Um, this is another one where I watched Halloween and Halloween 2 right afterward, which kind of went together. Um, but Halloween is definitely in my top um, 25. Next up is another double um, feature, and that is for Jaws and Jaws 2. Um, I saw Jaws when it came out. I actually saw this one. I didn't see this one in the theater. I actually saw Jaws at school. Um, we had a... Back when I was in um, middle school, we had... Um, where they had movie nights at the school. So we were able to see Jaws at school. And then, of course, I saw Jaws 2 afterwards. Um, enjoy both of these. But, of course, Jaws is my favorite. But Jaws 2 is a great follow-up. Okay, for my number two pick, that is Star Wars. Um, I did see this one in the theater when it came out. This is from 1977. Um, probably one of my favorite films of all times. Of course, The Empire Strikes Back is my favorite of the Star Wars films. But without Star Wars, we would have never had that. I just enjoy Star Wars. And that's the reason why it's my number two. Okay, for anybody that knows me and watches my channel... Hopefully you would know that my number one pick for the 70s films is Superman the movie. So I love this film. I did get to see this one in the theater. Um, this was a big deal to see Superman on the big screen. Um, we All we had back in the 70s were the Superman cartoons, um, which I love those. We had the George Reeves Superman, which was in black and white. And he just didn't look like Superman to me. But when Christopher Reeve um, was cast in this role, that was the perfect Superman. I love this film. It's my top uh, film of the 1970s. And so that are, that are those are my top 25 films. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my film selections. And also let me know below what your top 25 films of the 70s are. If you can't do the top 25, then definitely try to do the top 15, and I'll be sure that Tim gets those. But if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on X. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have those linked down below. But Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.